oh yes, definitely, like two weeks beforehand, they'll give us the papers and tell us, oh, okay, so this is what you're going to be learning. And so we go over it at home, at school, when we have time, and we just learn it. Um, well, it definitely depends on the class because, um, like I said, classes are different. So I, I do it every Friday, and every Friday I get a different class, um, and it's a different kind of setting. It's different students, different personalities and um, backgrounds. So there will be the students who know everything, and they have answers, and they want to know some more. And then there's some students who are kind of like, hmm. I got this, I don't really need you and stuff. So I have to adjust to those kinds of situations. So I think that my main way of getting, or of teaching uh, successfully would be to really get their attention and to get them excited for the lesson. So I like to, I mean, we all do it, but like the horns up and, you know, we're at UT, this is such an awesome university and how many of you have been here before and, you know, tr get them talking to me and then we'll say, okay, well, we're going to do something really, really fun and they get kind of excited. So that's really cool and rewarding to me. I just love seeing them super excited and then the ones that are kind of like, eh, I go individually and talk to them and then they kind of start talking to me and get more involved in the lesson and I love that. I love seeing um, interactions between them and me interacting with them. Before you can go on a field trip to, to teach these children, you first need to know the content of the information so that you can be able to portray the information effectively and clearly so the children can actually learn something from that lesson. So basically you have to practice. Practice does make perfect. Then when you get there, you have to get a feel for the children. You got to know the environment of the classroom, how you could be able to interact with them, because every classroom is different. It's not, it's never going to be the same group of children you have every time. So one thing is getting a feel for the classroom and be able to feel comfortable so that you can teach a lesson effectively. So this uh, volunteering started, uh, you know, me uh, getting the materials and just studying it, just preparing what I need to talk about in front of the kids and, and then uh, planning off where to go. Uh, each, you know, we have a schedule, we have to follow the schedule, so we have to go to each... Man, why does the bell keep ringing? <laughs> uh, so preparation for the field trip started as me just getting the materials and just preparing uh, what I need to say in front of the kids and. Uh, planning my schedule of where to go. Uh, we have a time slot that we have to follow. And basically just making sure the kids enjoy their time being here. Uh, this is my priority goal. Oh, you didn't laugh again. <laughs>